Supernatural has been one of my favorite TV shows since college. My best friend Brian and I binge watched all of this and X-Files before graduating, which is super impressive if you think about it. The roster of monsters on Supernatural are a pretty great lineup of mythological beasts, creatures in ancient lore, and horror stories you tell around a campfire to give your friends nightmares. Before this show got all angels and demony, it was one of the greatest Monster of the Week lineups around, second only to X-Files. Now go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons, Sammy. It's what a good son would do. I'm Whitney Van Lanningham, and these are the best monsters on Supernatural. Number 11, the Striga. A Striga is a type of witch that feeds on children's life forces, so that's fucking terrifying. Their handprints literally rot wood when they touch it because of the life force powers they suck from the kids. The Striga in this episode happens to strike Wisconsin every 15 to 20 years, and it's revealed through a series of flashbacks that Sam was actually attacked by it when he was younger. But of course, Dean saves him this time. Number 10, vampires. These vampires aren't the sparkly twilight kind, guys. These are the terrifying, rip out your jugular with their teeth kind. The vampires on this show are super scary because there's almost nothing that can actually kill them. Daddy Winchester has to actually shoot one in the head with the cult to kill it, and that only worked because it's the only weapon in the entire world capable of killing any creature. The only other thing that kinda works against vampires is dead man's blood, so as long as you've got a vat of that on you at all times, you too can ward off Edward Cullen. Number nine, Doc Benton. This guy was just a regular doctor back in the 1800s, but then he discovered the science behind immortality and started going on a killing spree in order to keep his body looking fresh. He starts stealing people's organs, so humans are dying rapidly right and left. Thank God Sam and Dean are monster hunters for a living, because this dude was like a one-man Jeffrey Dahmer, Ted Bundy, Michael Swango hybrid. Turns out that Daddy Winchester cut out Doc Benton's heart with a chainsaw once, and that didn't kill him, so Sam and Dean decide to bury him alive after stabbing him with a poison dagger. Number eight, Wendigo. Whoa, I totally forgot that Cory Monteith was in this episode. It's almost like a Wendigo is a metaphor for heroin, you know? Anyways, Wendigos are super terrifying former human creatures that started off as cannibals. Eating human flesh is apparently like spinach is to Popeye, and it makes them grow really fast, really strong, and really hungry for people burgers. The Wendigo in this episode kidnapped a bunch of campers and stored them underground for the coming winter. Gross. <laughs> Number seven, Wraith. When a monster starts terrorizing a psychiatric hospital, Sam and Dean decide to check into the nut house to investigate. They discover that the wraith is killing patients by puncturing their brain with this long spike that pokes out of the back of its wrist, and then slurping out the contents like a 7-Eleven delight. Gross! Wraiths are also known to alter reality, take on human form, and slowly poison your brain until all of your problems start taking over and driving you insane. They're basically a bigger emotional terrorist than every single mother-in-law in the world combined. Number six, changelings. Imagine waking up one morning and your kid is a total creepy monster demon. That's what happens to the parents in this episode. Monsters steal these children and whisk them away to an underground lair where the mother changeling feeds on them. The kids are replaced with changeling children who are basically the evil versions of their original counterparts. The creepiest part is that the changelings look exactly like the children, but when you look at them in the mirror, their faces are all messed up and spooky and awful. Number five, Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary really stressed me out when I was a kid. I remember hearing the story for the first time at a slumber party and avoiding mirrors at nighttime for the next six weeks after that. Legend has it that if you say Bloody Mary's name in the bathroom mirror three times, Bloody Mary will come and gouge your eyes out. When a bunch of little girls at a sleepover dare each other to say Bloody Mary's name, she doesn't actually come for one of them, but she does kill their dad, so that sucks. Sam and Dean discover that her spirit is trapped in a mirror, and they have to force her to confront her reflection in order to destroy her. Number four, Scarecrow. In this Monster of the Week episode, a couple stops at a gas station on a road trip. When their car breaks down a little further up the road, they walk through a spooky field to try to find help and see a terrifying Texas Chainsaw Massacre Scarecrow hanging in the center. When they try to run back to the car, the Scarecrow slaughters both of them. When Sam and Dean go to investigate, they discover that the town needs the Scarecrow to kill people every year so that their harvest will stay strong. Yeah, they're literally slaughtering people every year for a blood sacrifice that gives them riper apples. Tight. Number three, Jefferson Starships. If you couldn't guess by their names, Dean totally came up with the name Jefferson Starships for Eve's monster hybrid concoctions. These little babies are brutal. They're basically all of Supernatural's scariest monsters mashed into one. For example, one of the monsters is a vampire with a wraith spike. 
a combination I would not want to run into in a dark alleyway without the Winchester brothers. Number two, Rougarous. Like Wendigos, Rougarous start off as human beings before their cannibalism takes over. Unlike Wendigos, however, Rougarous gradually built up to eating people after a sudden, intense craving for meat takes over their entire being. There's a theory that Rougarous could potentially reverse their genetic curse, but that they'd have to swear off meat forever. The call to eat meat is extremely strong, so it's pretty unlikely that any Rougarous out there have changed their ways. Number one, Rakshasha. Okay, first of all, why are all of the kids in this episode so incredibly dumb? Like, I get it that they're younger, but what kid just randomly opens their door for a creepy clown in the middle of the night? Stranger danger is one thing, but have you seen how creepy this clown is? Wouldn't you think twice before opening your living room to it? Apparently they can't enter a home unless they're invited, so that's why they have to prey on idiot children in order to feast on the parents for dinner. The clown actually turns out to be an ancient Hindu cannibal spirit taking on the appearance of a clown to exploit vulnerable idiots, and I'm starting to realize that all my favorite supernatural monsters are also people eaters. Those are all of my favorite monsters from Supernatural, but I want to know which ones I missed in the comments. Like and subscribe to Obsev, and keep saving people and hunting things. It's the family business.